While hunting is the focus for fall for most, there is some good news coming out on the latest North Dakota Fisheries Survey. So we have Doug Lear in with the North Dakota Game and Fish Department to talk about fishing here in late October. That's weird. Yeah, it, it, in, in kind of a way <laughs> that it is, you're right, because it feels more like hunting. You think right. about fishing, you're thinking more about June, July, and August than you typically are about the October time frame. But yeah, no, you're absolutely right, Lisa. But you have some good news. So we have some fall fisheries surveys, uh, some numbers to tell us about. Yeah, our fisheries biologists have been busy, and I'm going to use words like good, not great. The, okay. the results from our fall fish reproduction surveys, they're good. And it's not a real surprise to anyone because of the drought conditions that much of North Dakota was working its way through throughout most of the summer. I mean, the, the precipitation, the moisture really didn't come back until the backside of summer for the most part in the places that did get it. So probably good versus something that we had been used to of things like maybe grates were used in the past years, Lisa. So drought, one bad drought summer yeah. can really affect numbers? And, and it can. It, it's probably, you know, in the short term, more dramatic in what was for accessibility and mobility for anglers for the lower water levels. And then moving forward, though, there's definitely some concern moving forward as to what the what the conditions are going to be like next spring. Our fisheries surveys throughout probably some of our bigger waters like Devil's Lake, Lake Sakakawea, the Missouri River system where we get probably some of the most data. And again, you know, good is probably the, the, common, the common theme that we're hearing some good natural reproduction in places like Devil's Lake. So it, 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 it's got some maybe some yellow flags, but not, not anything to be too alarmed with right now. So what did you see as far as, you know, the different kind of fish? And you're only saying good, but... Right, we saw some good smelt numbers, okay. and that's very important for forage. Uh, we, we saw some pretty good walleye and sauger numbers in some of our bigger systems as well. The smaller lakes and reservoirs the, around the area, again, um, walleye, perch, pike, all doing okay heading into the winter months, which again is good for ice fishing. That'll yeah. be coming relatively soon, Lisa. Okay, and then when do you do the survey again? In the spring? Yeah, then we'll be doing our spring survey work. Uh, we'll be doing, you know, work throughout the winter time, checking dissolved oxygen levels and things like that. So there's never a real, never a real slow time outdoors, Lisa. No break for you guys. No. Thanks for coming in today, Doug. You're welcome.